Hey everyone, and welcome to the second episode in my memory matching card cat game. Today, I'm going to be actually making this game what it's called. It's called Meow Match, but right now there's actually no matching and there's no memory and there's, there's really nothing. But that's what I'm going to be showing how to code today is the matching. But before we get into the episode, don't forget to click the like button and click the subscribe button and drop a comment down below. And also, thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I can't believe it is absolutely amazing. It really means a lot to me so thank you i really mean it i don't want to waste any more of your time so let's just get right into this tutorial Alrighty, so today i have no new sprites i still just have cards and bg so the first little thing i want to do is just a little kind of optimization ish trick is see right here where i have this pick random 1 to 12 well 12 is actually half of our area so we're just going to want to do a pick random 1 to total area divided by 2 so the reason that matters is if you have a smaller area this will still work for instance, if we set the total width and height to 2x2, two two, you can see that it still works. Okay, so now that we have that, let's make it to where when you click on it, it will show the card. So in order to do this, we need to make a new for the sprite only variable called is selected. Make sure you do for the sprite only, otherwise this won't work. In the start, go ahead and set that is selected to false. Now in this loop right here, add an if else and an equals and do if is selected equals to true then we're going to switch costume to clone id else we are going to switch costume to blank now go over to this loop that we made last episode and add an if else inside of here and put all of those in there like so now an equals and do is selected equals to false so if we're not already selected then we're going to get bigger and then make that into an if not an if else then an if else if is mystery cat is equal equal to false if the mouse is down inside of here set is selected to true and now wait until not mouse down now you should see that when we click on any card you can see it shows what card it is now if we try to click on a mystery cat you can see that it won't let me do it right now now we need to make it to where you can only actually show two because i don't want you to just be able to show all of them so to do this we want to make a for all sprite variable called card selected and in parentheses do one so this is the first card selected copy that name click ok and make another variable paste that name in and do card selected two now in this loop right here go ahead and set the card selected one to blank and card selected two to blank as well now go ahead and add an and right here and go if mouse down and card selected one is equal to blank then add an or card selected two is equal to blank then put this in the left of an and and put that in there like so make sure you get that ordering right is selected is equal to false that way we can't do it twice now we want to take this out and do an if else and do if card selected one is equal to blank which means we don't have any cards selected yet then we want to set the card selected one to the clone id and then set selected to true now duplicate this and put it in the else and then change this to an if and do if card selected two is equal to blank then we are going to set card selected two to clone id set the is selected to true so now if you show those two variables and we click on one you can see that card selected one is now set to eight and and that matches this number and now if i click this card selected two is equal to not and as you can see it won't let me click on a third one now we need to go ahead and make it actually unselected so at the very end right here add a broadcast and do end match now when i receive end match if the is mystery cat is equal to false then an if else card selected one equals card selected two which means they are the same card then if loan id equals equals card selected one and clone id equals card selected two so that's just making sure they match still then for now we are going to say match else say fail that way we can make sure this all works let's go ahead and not do a match first you can see that they all say fail but if we go ahead and get a match you can see that those two say match before you continue make sure the same thing happens for you and if not then go ahead and check all of your code against mine so here is the end match loop and here's the touching loop so right here is the map broadcast clear selections when i receive clear selection if the is mystery cat is equal to false then 
then we are going to set the card selected one to blank, set the card selected two to blank, set is selected to false, and then clear the graphic effects. Okay, so now you should see that when we get a match, it should clear all the selections and we can do it again. Here and here, there we go. It does it instantaneously, but you can see that it clears the selection. Okay, let's give it some delay. So make a block called match put that above the clear selections. Now go ahead and wait 0.4 seconds and let's test this out now. Click on this orange one and click on this orange one. After 0.4 seconds it clears the selection and we can select two more again. Okay so let's give this some animation when they are matched. So let's set the brightness effect to 85. Set the size to 90. Repeat five times. Go forward five layers. Change the brightness effect by negative 17. Now now point in direction, a plus operator, a abs of block, and then two times. Now a timer. Now we want to do 90, which is the direction we want, then sign, then a times, timer, 500, then all of that times 7, then put that in the plus. Go up here and duplicate this change size by, put that down here and do 140, repeat 46 times, duplicate all of this, and change this to 125, and delete this change brightness effect. Now point in direction 90, set the card X and card Y to 200 and 160, which is down at the bottom left, so it'll glide over there. Now make a new block called delete card and now do delete card at the bottom here now in the delete card point in direction 90 set the is mystery cat to false repeat five times change the ghost effect by 20 go to front and finally delete this clone okay so let's see if all of our work actually works so here's a yellow cat okay that works and here's a yellow cat Yes, look at that. Alrighty, I think it works. And if we don't get a matching pair, you should see that it doesn't do the animation. There we go. As you can see, it just stays there. So now we need to handle what happens when we don't get the match. So what we want to do is first broadcast clear selections. So it gets rid of the selections and then make a new block called fail and then put that above there. Now in the fail loop right here, we want to repeat 10 times, change X by pick random negative 2 to 2. Two, duplicate that and do change y by pick random negative 2 to 2 and now let's test this out okay so hopefully if i go ahead and click a mismatching pair all the cards shake there we go as you can see when we get a mismatching pair it shakes and then unselects it and we can actually try again but if we get a matching pair you can see that it does the right thing but for some reason now that we did that i can't make more matches the reason is when we do the match we do all of this stuff and then we delete the clone and it's deleted so it can't do this because it's deleted so we need to actually put this broadcast clear selections right here in front of the delete card so you can see that i'm missing a bunch okay so obviously it's working here and then we can actually make a match now and once we make a match you can see that we can keep going and going and going okay so there's a second match alrighty so this is working properly and we can actually match these things okay so now that we have that let's make it to where you can also select the mystery cats so go to this selection loop and make some space here so duplicate that if statement here and take out this right here is selected is equal to false and make a new variable for all sprites called using mystery cat and then duplicate this and do using mystery cat is equal to false we are going to get rid of that and broaden broadcast clear selections, set the using mystery cat to true, set the is selected to true, clear the graphic effects, set the brightness to 85, wait 0.5 seconds, repeat 5 times, change brightness effect by negative 17, clear the graphic effects, and then put this in here. And last but not least, set the is using mystery cat to false right here. We need a block for the functionality of the mystery cat, which we're not going to do today because there's a lot, but we're going to name this mystery cat and then run this mystery cat right here. So today we're just going to make it say, I'm a 
mystery cat. If we click on a mystery cat, okay, that doesn't work. The reason why is we need to set using mystery cat to false in the very beginning here. So let's test this out now. If we go ahead and play, this is a mystery cat. We click on it. It shows and says, I'm a mystery cat. Wow, we wow. And then you can keep clicking on lots of different mystery cats. That's not good. So in the mystery cat, we're actually going to replace this with a say that for one second. Then we're going to go ahead and delete card. And also right here, instead of setting the ghost, I meant brightness. So now let's test this out. So when we click on a mystery cat, you can see that it does its animation, it says I'm a mystery cat, wow wow wow, and then it deletes itself. And if say we have this card selected and then we click on a mystery card, it unselects the other one. So now all we need to do is go ahead and code all the different mystery cats. So I'm just gonna for now say the clone ID for one second. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, don't hit this cat. But anyway, this has been Owen and I'm out.